Hi guys and welcome to the Football Cards and Stickers Premier League 2017-18 season. This is where we recreate every game week played in the Barclays Premier League 2017-18 by opening three packets of the Topps Match Attacks Premier League 2017-18 trading card game and any players pulled from those packs will score an imaginary goal for their respective club in those respective game week fixtures. So without further ado, let's get on with the game week shown on screen now. So guys, welcome to game week 16 of the Football Cards and Stickers Match Attacks Premier League. And as you can see, Man City lead the way from their close rivals Manchester United by five points. And then a further point back in third is Tottenham Hotspur. Meanwhile, the bottom three places are occupied by Everton, Bournemouth and Crystal Palace. We've got some fantastic toys for you today, uh, but let's start off with listing all of them. So we've got Burnley versus Watford, Crystal Palace versus Bournemouth, Huddersfield versus Brighton. Uh, we've got second against third, first there in a Manchester derby, Manchester United versus Manchester City. We've got Newcastle versus Leicester, Swansea versus West Brom. Tottenham versus Stoke, a London derby of West Ham versus Chelsea, a Merseyside derby of Liverpool versus Everton, and finally Southampton entertain Arsenal. So let's get this game week 16 straight underway uh, with our first pack. Who's going to get the first goal? And as you can see, it comes from Burnley's Phil Bardsley, the fullback there. He has given them a one-goal advantage at home to Watford. Meanwhile, Brighton take the lead at Huddersfield through Shane Duffy, uh, followed by uh, Daniel Amati has given Leicester an away lead at St James's Park. They lead uh, Newcastle by a goal to nil. Uh, West Ham United's An Angelo Ogbona. Uh, has given them a 1-0 advantage at home to Chelsea. Uh, meanwhile, in the big game, as you see there, Nemanja Matic has given Manchester United, the home side, a one-goal uh, lead against Manchester City. Bottom club Christ, uh, Crystal Palace has scored through Christian Benteke. They're entertaining uh, Bournemouth at home, who also uh, occupy one of those relegation berths. Meanwhile, uh, in the Merseyside derby, Joel Matip has given Liverpool a one-goal lead. Uh, Sigurdsson though has equalised it up straight away just before half time there uh, so it's Liverpool 1, Everton 1 uh, Meanwhile Lanzini has doubled West Ham United's advantage at home to Chelsea uh, They lead by two goals to nil On to our next and there's an equaliser for Watford away at Burnley there uh, through Miguel Britos uh, however, Scott Arfield has restored the one goal advantage for Burnley straight away, uh, went down the other end of the field and scored. It's now Burnley 2, Watford 1. Uh, Bournemouth hit an equaliser away at Crystal Palace, uh, Junior Stanislaus getting that goal. Stoke City have taken the lead at Spurs uh, through their centre back there, Martins Indy. Uh, meanwhile, Crystal Palace restore their advantage through Johan Kabai. It's now Crystal Palace 2, Bournemouth 1. Uh, Stephen Davies uh, for Southampton uh, has opened the scoring at home to Arsenal, as you see there. Uh, but there's an equaliser straight away through Arsenal's French international striker, Lacazette. Uh, so that now reads Southampton 1, Arsenal 1. Uh, and talking of one all score lines, Perez has equalised for Newcastle there. Uh, meanwhile, Bruno has doubled Brighton's advantage at Huddersfield. Uh, they lead by two goals to nil. And Newcastle now come, coming from behind. John Joe Shelby has made it Newcastle 2, Leicester City 1. Uh, meanwhile, West Bromwich Albion have taken the lead away at Swansea through Nyum. Uh, they lead by a goal to nil. 
Uh, Arta has got another equaliser for Bournemouth here. Uh, that's a decent game. Crystal Palace 2, Bournemouth 2. Uh, Southampton restore their advantage against Arsenal through Jack Stevens. Uh, they lead by two goals to one. And Davy Klassen has given Everton uh, a 2-1 advantage in the Merseyside derby away at Liverpool. Uh, meanwhile, uh, William has got a goal back for Chelsea. It may be a little too late, though. It's still West Ham 2, Chelsea 1. Alexis Sanchez has got a late equaliser for Arsenal at Southampton. Uh, that's now Southampton 2, Arsenal 2. And Kevin De Bruyne has got an injury time uh, equaliser for Manchester City. As you see there, his 100 club club card. Uh, it finishes Manchester United 1, Manchester City 1. And Man City still unbeaten in the Football Cards and Stickers Premier League for the 2017-18 season. So, the results for game week 16 is as follows. Burnley 2, Watford 1. Crystal Palace 2, Bournemouth 2. Huddersfield Town 0, Brighton 2. Manchester United 1, Manchester City 1. Newcastle 2, Leicester 1. Swansea City 0, West Bromwich Albion 1. Tottenham 0, Stoke City 1. West Ham United 2, Chelsea 1, Liverpool 1, Everton 2, Southampton 2, Arsenal 2. So as you can see from the updated table there, after Manchester City and Man United drew at Old Trafford a goal each, uh, Man City still lead the way from their rivals by five points at the top there. Uh, meanwhile, Everton have removed themselves from the bottom three now, being replaced by Swansea who join Bournemouth and Crystal Palace. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this Football Cards and Stickers Premier League game week. Uh, if you have, make sure you smash that like button. If you're not already a subscriber of the Football Cards and Stickers channel, click on that subscribe and then click on the bell just underneath this video so you're notified as and when future game weeks are uploaded. And of course, I'll see you guys all in those videos. But until then, adios.